Hello everybody, this is Vanessa of Vans, Van and Travels. This is Bobo, as you know him well by now, you should. Um, I have a very interesting video for you today. I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time. Uh, it's a good friend of mine. She doesn't want to give her name, and it's not that she's hiding her identity. She's um, She didn't think she was... Um, looking well enough or something today. She wasn't presentable, that's what I should have said. But anyway, she's a dear friend of mine. I, I met her when I first got out here in uh, November and I just fell in love with her right away and we just continue to be better and better friends all the time. So uh, she lives in her Kia Sportage and she has a remarkable set up and it's so comfortable I told her I, I just want to get in there and take a nap um, there's some funny parts in here I wouldn't be able to make a video if it wasn't funny but um, you can kind of zoom in on her um, ways she has of protection I thought it's a southern girl would have to be the one to come up with this stuff so um, I hope you enjoy I really enjoyed being with her she's camped here beside me and She's been in my van this morning. We spent some time talking and just having fun. And um, I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Okay, we're going to do a tour of my friend's SUV. And she's going to be telling you more about it than I am because she's already given me information that I didn't even know. So she's going to open up and we're going to show you her living space in the back seat now. Okay. This is actually the smallest SUV made. There's not one smaller that's considered an SUV. And I live out of this SUV. Um, so I'm just going to show you how it's set up. And we're out here in the desert. It's dirty. Please do not. And we all have dirty vehicles. <laughs> that's right. Okay. So this is actually my front door. Ooh, it's. You can't see in there, that's for sure. No, and that is because this is a black matte, M-A-T-T-E finish gray. Oh. I bought this material at Walmart. Um, I made curtain that goes all the way around from here, goes all the way around behind the driver's seat. Oh, cool. And goes around the whole other side to the same distance in the back. It is clipped on with simply these little clips. Oh, wow. So what I'm, do you hook it on to? I've run a, I guess it's called a paracord. Oh, okay. Inside. It has just a little bit of give to it, but I've got it pulled as tight as it can go. It's hooked on to the uh, arm pull, whatever this is called, hand pull. Okay. It's wrapped around that. In the back, I have one of those, is it called Connect? Um, the hooks that you put the strip on yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, command, command. Command. Yeah. I have one of those. That's what it's tied to in the back now. So typically, when I'm driving, this is always up, and no one can see it. And it's really uh, stealth, because I, I wouldn't know what you had in there. It just looks like a dark car inside. Right, and you're going to put pictures uh, also up that will show it. Yeah. Okay, now on my door here, on the window, I have taken the no see -em screen. It's not on your face now. She's going to show us about the screen on the door. I'm not going to your face. Okay. The screen is called no see -em screen because the mesh is so tiny that no insects of any kind can get in. Mm, I like that. I did have it attached with just clear tape. I'm into my eighth month living in the Kia. This is a Kia Sportage. I'm in my eighth month living in it. So the tape started to give a little bit, the clear tape. Oh. So I did put some painter's tape on because that doesn't damage anything. I will eventually take this painter's tape off and replace it with some more clear tape. But this does hold it. And so therefore I can crack my window, let a little air in, and it doesn't let any bugs in. I didn't even notice that you had that. Yeah, it's... What is that called now? What did no see -em screen. No see -em. okay. I think I bought it from Lowe's or one of the hardware stores in a big roll. And um, 
course, I didn't need as much as I have, but I've yeah. got extra. That's so. nice. That's nice. Okay. Now, at night, when I'm sleeping, this becomes my nightstand where I put a drink uh, of some sort, usually Dr. Pepper. I don't drink alcohol, but uh, Dr. Pepper. And, of course, some things have spilled, and please forgive me, this is not, well, it's not cleaned up. I, I, think anyway. I, I think I've done that a time or two <laughs> myself. And, Whoops, I'm and sorry. Vanessa, notice down here, because this looks unkept, but it has an order to it. Oh, yeah. These are my shower shoes that I always take out uh, when I'm going to go shower at Planet Fitness and put into my shower bag. But if I have to jump out in, you know, the night or the morning for some reason, I'll slip these on to keep from having to put my tennis shoes on so they stay right there. This, Good idea. This, oh, by the way, I forgot to show you a couple of my safety features or my protection. This is mace. Oh, cool. Right at my hand at night, this is a whistle, very loud. I can grab either of those if I need to in the night. I'm going to stick these right here for now. I'm looking at that hammer over there. <laughs> that's, that's what I was going to show you. This is my main protection. Uh, and I can swing a mean one, let me tell you. <laughs> it's right there. I can grab it. I have the mace, the whistle. And the hammer. Yep, one of them doesn't yeah. do it, the other one will. And there are other protections as well that I have, which I won't talk about some of them, but this is also... I'll talk about them. Well, this is Flying Insect Killer. Oh, this cool. will shoot a stream, I don't know, eight feet or whatever. So uh, I'm, I'm mean with this as well. For so not, what would you do with that? Try to spray it in their face? Exactly. Anything, well, actually... I would probably make enough noise. I would probably scare them off. They're looking for victims who are afraid yeah, and will cry yeah. and whimper, and I'm not yeah, one of those. Me either. <laughs> but I've got all of these things. Yes, I would spray this at them. Um, I, and it also has killed some wasps for me. I would grab this. even, And, and I want to tell you, even if they could get my door open, I could damage them so quickly and, oh, yeah. and so fast that they would probably not want to stay around. Yeah. I, would, I would take them by surprise. Yeah, that's what you have to do. This is the best. It's Skin So Soft Avon Skin So Soft Mixed oh, with yeah. Water. That's my insect repellent for my skin. I've I heard of use, that. I don't use anything you know other than that, but this works for me. It's a mixture of about a third Skin So Soft and the rest water. Cool. Now this is just to protect my carpet, that plastic bag. My shoes live here. I have a black pair of shoes under here. They slide in sideways. I have a good pair of tennis shoes right here, slid sideways. And then my day-to-day -day tennis shoes, when I get in here and sit down, I take my shoes off and I put them right here. So mm -hmm. they have a place to live. There's three gallons of water in this. I don't know if you can see that or not. But there oh, no. is there is a brown oh, okay. box. It's opened yeah. on the end, and it has three gallons of water in it. That also props my head up. Oh, okay. Because my mattress, my foam three-inch yeah, mattress. I heard you talking about that box. Yes, and it, my mattress goes all the way to the back of my front seat, but it needed something here to hold my head yeah, up. Yeah, That's yeah. what this box serves as, and it's Ooh. got a pillow on it that puts it at the right height. Okay, get everything back in here so I know which one to grab if I need it. <laughs> you know where everything is. That's right. Okay, I'll leave the shoes in the door for now. Okay, now I, I have taken this down to, uh, to the degree that I would if I'm going to get in here for the night. I would turn around, sit here, take my shoes off, put them where they go, put my feet over here. There's my head. This is my oh, bed. Oh, okay. Now, let me get. We talked get about you not getting a real close up since <laughs> since it hasn't well, been. Well, you know what? We all have little tight quarters, and I want your bed is so comfortable because I've already checked it out. And, and we can pull this up and show them. That is. is a mattress topper from Walmart covered with a mattress cover that tucks very under. Very simple, very simple. This is, all this is, is the back of my seat. Yeah. My seat has laid down. Now, it has a little bit of a rise to it. It's not one of those that lays flat. So, I put a board, a thin board, that made it 
transition easily oh, for me okay. there. So I don't have a, a lump down yeah. for my back. Um, this sleeping bag is a zero degree sleeping bag. Oh, cool. Um, it's a thick one, I know that. Yes, and I normally do not crawl inside it. I usually sleep on top of it. And my covers are all pushed back under the feed area back here. That is an electric blanket. Oh, that wow. Okay. Is an electric blanket. That's the control for it right there. Okay. Oh, it's a regular, regular electric blanket. Electric blanket. And up there, almost hidden, the yellow item behind my sanitary wipes <laughs> is the equivalent of what we would call a jackery. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that earlier. It's a different looking. it's a different brand. It's what I call the alphabet brand because it's A E I U S N Y. I don't know if that's <laughs> like the one Letty has or not, but she has a like a mock yes. jackery. That one on the back side of it is attached to my um, cigarette lighter that's in that back corner over oh, there. Oh, okay. So that's what's continually charging that unit. And of course, once it gets up to 100%, it's not draining any of my battery anyway. Yeah, I was. so that's the only solar you have. I, your... I have a 60-watt uh, small fold-up okay. uh, laptop-sized solar panel. I, remember I can that. charge it through solar, but I like to leave it. I do so driving anyway. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. If you drive in it, you can it charge it up. It yeah. Easily. Why yeah. even use your power? That You can save Correct. that. You never know what you might need. And I have Here. a shelf here under here that I took from a plastic shelving unit I had in my storage let, unit. Do you care if I... Let me just... Yeah. Right here. Okay. I'll see it now. Yeah. And it's on legs. The legs that it came oh. on. Oh. And underneath my feet go for the night. Yeah. But I also have storage over there under that shelf. But I have these little, these little small, you can get them from the dollar store or Walmart. I have uh, aluminum foil, plastic bags, um, spray, no spray, um, deodorant, all sorts of things Everything in you'd these need, yeah. across here. And they are bungeed in. Cool. And attached, and this is bungeed. This shelf is not freestanding. It's bungeed to anchors in my car in the back. So nothing here moves. Cool. Um, sadly that you're seeing it, but above there, I use it to roll things up, clothing items that probably are going to go to the hey, laundromat. I would have to have a place <laughs> like that to stick stuff. <laughs> now, one thing I did want to show you. This is a porta potty. You can buy them at Walmart. I think they call them Campa something. Yeah. Um, I only use that in emergencies. <laughs> and we <laughs> all night. have emergencies That's sometime. Right. Because I have a different method that I take care of urination through the night. Okay. Um, I just use a cup method, pour it into a, a an old and I say old because it's empty now, a fabric softener bottle, yep. 50, 60 ounces. Yep. I pour from the cup into that at night, cap it off, never smells, and then I wipe that cup clean with those sanitary wipes. Yep. Yep. Never have Good smell idea. in here. Never have smell in here. Okay, so that's only for emergencies, but it is here. It acts as my shelf. I've got a little USB yeah. run fan. Those are cool fans. Um, I, I, I have two of them. Put a cup of pop on there, whatever. Over here is two shelves. You can maybe see from this angle that they're they're wire. They they top on top of each Oops. other. That's um, okay. That's just up there for you can show. That's got food items in it. And and my laptop is on top of all of that. I just can let me show. This is just so. See, I just couldn't figure this out. She's got curtains all the way around her, so she's just all stealth. blacked in here. Yeah, stealth. Now, I do have a couple of openings over there, but you can't see them because they yeah, cross I can't, across each other. Yeah, I can't see them. So I can pull back my curtain if I need to look out that side at night. I can pull back this curtain. I, I'm i not um, oblivious to what's going on around yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But 
but right under this laptop, which I, I work I work while on the road. I'm yeah. a writer and I use that laptop and I have a hot spot on my phone so I can work anywhere I am that I have internet access. But right under that laptop is my little storage of uh, vitamins, minerals, etc., etc. And it sits on top of the food stuff. Well, you've got everything at your fingertips. I can touch but everything I need from She my also bed. has a, you want to tell us about those shelves, oh, not yeah. shelves, but yeah. drawers over there. I forgot about those. These are my newest item. I added them two or three weeks ago. It's a three stack. They all come together from Walmart, $10. Yeah. My top one has all of my cooking supplies in it. Uh, you might be able to see my steamer basket in there. Yep, I do. I love to steam vegetables. Uh, that box you're seeing right there is what they call a stinger. It runs off the jackery imitation oh, okay. and will heat water. Uh, it's one of those little plunger things yeah, that you put into yeah. a cup and it'll plug in. My middle drawer is all of my uh, pants, uh, capri pants, yeah. uh, sweatpants, rolled up. Um, that box of matches you can see in yep, that second shelf them. right yep, there, let me it. tell you why that's there. I have a little flower pot, two, two or three little flower pots over there. And can you see the little orange right behind those Yeah, I see the, where you've got the... You see those little candles in it? Yep. Okay. I have flower pots, three small flower pots that I can arrange around that. And when I'm awake in here, I never do it when I'm asleep, but when I'm awake in here, I can light those little tea candles and set those pots up in such a way that the heat contains in that and, and you radiates. Gave, you gave me a wonderful idea uh, about a month ago, was it, when it got really cold out here. I went to the General Dollar and bought me four big stack candles, the short size. It... The temperature went up seven degrees. The flame from the from the candles heats. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's, that's amazing. Now, in my front seat, one more thing. In my front passenger seat, I keep a uh, kind of a closable, sort of foldable uh, container that has all of my coffee making equipment in it. It's got oh, my okay. cup, my instant coffee, my creamer, sugar. How do you make that. your coffee? You'd use a a pot, right? I use the stinger. In a cup oh, of oh, water. I got you now. Yeah, the the that goes down right. in. Okay, That's okay. Right. And you said that I wasn't he listening to you. And I apologize that everything's not. No, We're no. This, desert, this, so is, this is hey, how we live. this is how we live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to thank my good friend. She didn't want to show her face today, and that's okay. But um, I knew you'd enjoy seeing how she lives. I just, she's a real good friend of mine since we first met. We have a lot in common, and I hope you enjoyed her setup. Is there anything else you'd like to say? I want to tell them you can park anywhere with my setup and blend in right. and not stand out and not be obtrusive. And right. no one has ever bothered me. No, they'll never know that you're in there. That's right. <laughs> and if they do want to come in there, you've got that hammer on <laughs> You better text me first, Vanessa, <laughs> before you come. She, she's another Southern girl. We, we have a lot of ideas for protection. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, it's been hard not calling your name. <laughs> You're welcome. All righty. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye-bye.